Hi everyone, this is Fusion Sao, and I'm about to play Unsolicited. Um, I saw that Barry Den and Twelve had played it. I've been following them for a while, so they usually make the games interesting. So I thought I would give it a shot. The guy Scotty made it really fun, so figured why not. So, um, this is by the same guy that made uh, Papers, Please. Oops. What happened here? Okay. Okay, so put the guy's name here. Uh, and then you match it with all the details on this left side and you put the info into the uh, form and you sign, seal, deliver. Uh, Taps. <laughs> uh, 200 right yeah so you're basically like those uh spam mailers they make it legit by putting in all this info information and then signing it mm -hmm. some dollars Uh, I have a lot of beef with the uh, people who call low. The, the mail, you can always throw it out, but when people call you, you waste time listening to their whole spiel about, you know, uh, they need donations so that they can get sponsors, and it's kind of like, well, why are they spending money on these telemarketers? Doesn't make sense. To get calls from the Alumni Association. Striking performance, others have noticed. Okay. Timeshare, okay. Hasnov. Going a little light today because I did a lot of hours with Broken Age, so I figured I'd just take it easy with some lighter games and get to the heavier ones again on Friday. Read. Uh, Is this timed? It is timed. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I have a lot of beef with the Alumni Association calling me. Just like, yeah, no. Why do you need uh, <laughs> why do you need money for me? You already took my tuition when I went to your school. Sixteen. But you know they say that oh, you know all these companies look at the um, number of donations they receive from alumni, and that determines if they get the sponsorship or not. Which seems kind of shady to me, and then it's like, why do you have all these, these students calling people to get donations to? To try to solicit that, I don't know. Um, yes. That's a lot of money, especially for 1925. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, and then, uh, 
Ben's already donation. Is this Benson? Uh, small donation of 150. Yes. Charity donation. Okay. Uh, Schmidt. Ten dollars. Yeah, like you tell them, oh, I don't have money to donate this month, and then they, they will. Anything will work, you know, five dollars, ten dollars, and you no, know, I don't really have that. I didn't really consider that into my budget this month, you know, because no one expects to get called like that, and basically like we bombarded for donation money. I think it's the last one because it helps. Getting crowded in here, and we welcome it. What is this? Okay. Okay, now I have four forms. <laughs> uh, charity. This is the pink one. Um, oops. Ah, whatever. whatever. I messed up. <laughs> um, Owen. But yeah, you know, you don't really think about. It. Donating money and then they call you and they anything will help. No, I don't have money right now. And like, oh, we understand. How about a small donation of fifty dollars? Uh, no, I don't really have that. Oh, we totally understand. What about twenty dollars? And it goes on and on. <laughs> and you just have to say, well, do the Jerry Seinfeld thing. Well, how about I call you later? And then, you know, they say, well, we can't do that. It's against policy. How do you like it if someone calls you at home? Ah, oh, dang it. Taylor, Fiden. But yeah, with the junk, though, you just burn it, shred it. People call you, you kind of just have to tell them you're poor. Ugh, why am I getting that one wrong? Hey, Taylor. Biden. 5,000. Uh, 19th. And then the number is 318. Ugh. I thought that was a sweepstake. Oh, no, that was timeshare. Whoops. Okay. Credit offer. Uh, who's this? Dominguez. Oh. Isabella. 3%, per 0.3%, 6%, 1%, and then call the number. Okay. Timeshare. It's Schmitz again, huh? 1200. I'm just gonna see how far I get into this. It's first time playing though. Charity. Ah, uh, the Melnick. Uh, Seventy-five dollars. Whoa. Um, let's see, Hernandez, where did it go? All right. <laughs> it's right in front of me. Uh, point one percent. Call now. I'll throw in a second juicer for free. Tip six. Um, Botelho. Five thousand. That is the sixth of April. Uh, 
dialogue Thomas six nine eight here uh, sweep sticks that is the green one right and oh, I'm running out of time uh, 100 uh, 11 no wait I need to put the number in first thing and then uh, the Lipens family Ah, <laughs> uh, was it factory nine, eleventh, and Lipen's family six? Uh, cost ten. I get one hundred. Five eight six. Uh, I'm running out of time. Let's all ten to. Lopez mm -hmm. point two. Ah, <laughs> underbody auto insurance, tight screws, collection agency. This is a collectioners. Okay. Uh, balance paid in full by the sixth. And then attention to mine in. Uh, charity donation. See, I wonder if this is what those ones do that all day when they mail you stuff. <laughs> Let's put in some random numbers and screw up your name and then make it look legit somehow. Uh, one, nine, seven, okay. Mission of $50. We did the exclamation points for the day. Let's go. $5,000. Three money. Here. By the 13th. It's a collection notice. Is this one? Yeah. Uh -huh. Huh. Uh, you owe 7,000. That's a lot to pay for in 1925, I think. Um, what does it do? Alright, it's the fourth. Uh, short interest of 1795. Carlson, right? You owe 1000 uh, By the 27th. That's a lot of interest. Okay, and then Carlson family. Yeah, I wonder if that's how they do that. The ones that send the physical spam to you. Just have some computer program and then they just fill in the blanks. Kostovsky's Liam, you should you should get this credit <laughs> off the one percent back. Call the number. And Schuster, you're gonna donate to a charity. How about that? Uh, we want 50 bucks from you, and you need to call us. <coughs> Sweepstakes. This tightstra. Uh, 
Missing. Ah. Did I lose a form? I think I lost a form. So this is a little flash game and it's free, so I'll, when I upload this to YouTube, I'll put up a link, but... Uh, nine. And then the Wilson family... Uh, crit offer... The Mulder family... Merlinda. Uh, first year at 9%, you get 1.25 back, and it's 528. Auto insurance. The Murrays. Where'd it go? Alexander. <clears throat> uh, what is this? April 6th? Oh, you did a fruit basket. Worth fifty dollars. <laughs> oh man, better be fresh and organic fruit. Um, soup steak. Robinson. Five thousand. Uh, Brand six. And you need to contact Brand six. I know I should be going faster than this, but this is really hard to keep up with because you gotta look at all the little details and you can't send it out if you don't have any of this correct, so that's the unfortunate part of this. Uh, hmm. Samuel uh, 514 switch before the 17th and you'll get a gift card worth $20 oops call now do you want Uh, 99. Switch before the third, and you get a gift pack. Fourth. Ten dollars. <laughs> now the other person got fifty dollars. And uh, one, six, four. Uh, first dog. Uh, you owe six thousand. April 20th. Nina. Ah! <laughs> so it is say the Ministry of Defense has restricted all mail channels and now enforces a rationing of paper materials. All of our clients are gone. There are no letters to mail. You're free to go. So what happens if I do this? I will continue to work. Hmm. I guess that's it. Nothing there. Maybe I get arrested. <laughs> I want to see this. Eight seconds. Oops. <laughs> so yeah, that was unsolicited. Um, you want to check it out? Go ahead. Um, the link is Duke Pope or dukeope.com and I'm sure there are other games by him. Uh, 
but I think this is the guy that made Papers, Please, so thanks for a funny little casual game. But, uh, thanks for watching, and see you again soon!